What's going on, guys? Just want to welcome you guys to another Quant View YouTube video. My name is uh, Michael Jones, better known as Iceberg from the Quant View Discord community. And the uh, video I wanted to uh, take the time to describe to you all today another great strategy video is from one of our um, active members in the community. His name is Jose. Um, in the Discord community, his uh, uh, Discord handle is J12T. Uh, followed by three E. So J one two T E E E. Uh, you know, I guys want to give him a quick follow or just hello on the uh, Discord community. He's uh, very great at trading. Uh, currently, you know, five figures so far in payouts, and I'm certain that he'll be uh, up to six before the end of the year. And then, you know, sky's the limit from there. So, um, you know, one of the great things about uh, quantity quant use discord is there's just so many channels that uh individuals interact in uh that provides great and valuable information and i just so happened to be in one of the channels i don't remember which one it was uh but he was just describing one of the ways that he you know uses uh, q wave uh, to make uh fantastic trades and it was kind of an aha moment for me because uh, i never uh, considered it um, and i wanted to show you guys several examples of what that looks like here so you don't get overwhelmed when you see uh several different alerts as you see here with the qa bull here qa bear qa bull qa bear qa bull uh so on and so forth um so before we get started um just a timestamp. Uh, this is uh august 30th 2024 uh currently 11 25 eastern standard time in the markets and just so you know that it is uh currently uh, live here uh right now the market has pushed down a bit it was at a high of right about 100 and i want to say 95 points but it sold off pretty bad as you can see at about 0.31 percent positive or right at about 59 to 60 points uh, in the green here so um as you can see here i'll highlight my uh, tools that I'm using here. We have the Oracle freebies, Oracle reversals, squeeze relaxer, uh, consolidation zones here, which I'll uh, zoom in so you guys can see. Whenever you see these red and green ashes here, uh, that lets you know that price may be moving sideways in that area. And if you have not entered any of those trades, uh, you probably shouldn't do so. And we, of course, have our SMC indicator, which I use to uh, see the swing low and the swing high at all times and this organically changes as price moves up and down so you're aware of what that looks like on um, one second data which quantity recommends and then of course we have q pro which provides uh, the indicators of q line q wave uh, q cloud and all the great things here so um i, I want to show exactly why his strategy for using q wave is genius and it's one of the ways that it'll prevent you from uh, taking trades that you may think are legitimate trades, but the uh, price isn't moving exactly as you would like. And it will basically prevent chop from you. So I'm going to give you some examples. So one of the things that he does is he correlates a Q wave with Moneyball. And to be specific, uh, he waits until Moneyball's diamond uh, reflects directly or nearly directly after q wave so let me give you an example of a trade he wouldn't consider right so as you can see on this uh part of the screen here there's a lot of q wave alerts right a lot of bear alerts and a lot of bull alerts and if you just were taking these alerts just on its face and you know just to be clear quant you definitely does not recommend you take alerts just for the sake of alerts because it can chop you up and you can be on the other side of not having a profitable day or even worse if you're taking using a prop firm a lot account blowing your account right but this is what he does so he's waiting on q wave along with the moneyball diamond to happen uh, essentially in conjunction with one another so i'm giving an example of a trade he wouldn't take so as you can see here we have this q wave bull alert here and i'm going to zoom in just so we can see a little bit more of the wrinkles that activated it right so if you can see these translucent uh, wrinkles here we push up from looks like from about 587 to about 595 so about a, a just under 10 point push here 
And somewhere along here, this activates, and you may think that it's safe to take it, right? Uh, but we have a, a slight issue, right? So we're in disagreement with the money ball because money ball is still deep red, although momentum has formed a dot and is going slowly up, right? So if I zoom back in close, you see here we get an oracle squeeze before we come down a bit, right? And we come down and we get another bear alert because we come from 598 to 578, which if you're playing the reversals, that's an awesome trade to take. But just for the purposes of this video, we're focusing on QA, right? So he wouldn't take this one and he also wouldn't take this one here because again, um, the diamond didn't come directly after QA form, right? So this is, although these are nice push ups and downs, this is also kind of, if your entry is a bit too late, you can say it's a bit of chop, right? So we're not considering those, but let me show you what he would consider, right? So we come here, here's two awesome ones. So we are coming above Q line here and Q wave forms within this area. And then shortly after this diamond runs. So it's a one, two punch of taking this trade. You could have taken this at about 19.551 or a little earlier, 19.548. And you can see an amazing push up to about 19.588. And that gives you um, roughly about 20 to 30 points, right? Here's another example here. Actually, these back to back to back examples, all uh, ones that he would have taken because the diamonds are coming shortly after Q wave comes, right? So we get another push down. We push past Q line, Q wave forms because several different wrinkles going downward come. And then what we get, right? We get another diamond print because we go past his line. So he's using a combination of Q wave as paying attention to the trade and the diamond as reinforcing the trade. And as you can see, if you would have taken this at about 585, we would have got another great push down 559. Here's another example, right? So after we get this great push down, we start to push back up. Cloud is starting to form here and we get another Q wave alert. But again, we're not taking just off of Q wave. We're waiting on the diamond also to, cor uh, to correlate with Q wave. So Q wave forms and then shortly after the diamond prints, you would have taken this at 573. You could have peaked at 598 before this pulls back a bit. If you stay to deal with the pullback because money ball is still flush, momentum is still as high as it needs to be. As you can see, you would have went up to 606 and eventually you could have peaked at about 620. Going to give a couple more examples, you guys, and that kind of be it. It's really not a complex strategy, but it does require patience on your part so you're not taking um, trades that potentially will chop you up. Here's an example here, right, where you get Q wave and we are bullish on the money ball, but for his criteria, we don't get the diamond. So if you had the discipline to see this and just observe, you would see that we would have peaked here before dropping back down, right? So let's give another example. Actually, I want to give you guys the probably would be the trade of the day here. Here it goes right here. So um, NASDAQ was looking great for a while in terms of for the bulls. But at a certain point, we started getting exhausted and we started pushing downward. So here's another example, right? If you have the consolidation zone, we're in consolidation here at about um, 10.43 um, Eastern Standard Time. And then cloud starts to fully form here and we get this bear signal. And then we get sell Q line. So we know the trend is changing, but more specifically to Jose's strategy, we get the diamond print. And zooming in for you, just so you can see how much of a great trade this is. You would have gotten in at about, let's see, at about five, 580 or 576 because that's about when the it pushes past the line to form that diamond uh, you're going to go down from 576 all the way peaking down to 542 which again is a 20 plus trade right pulls up a little bit but it continues to come down some more here's another example here qa forms we wait on the diamond to give support to uh, your Q wave alert, and that forms at about here, at about 551. So you got wave and diamond correlating, and this pushes up to about, 
a 14 or 13 point trade before pulling back a little bit, but then pulls up some more to peak at 593. And then here is, uh, for most people, probably going to be the trade of the day because typically Fridays are not going to give you that much volume once 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time comes, um, especially because we've also had some news here today. So uh, same strategy. We peak here. Uh, cloud begins to surface. But again, according to his strategy, QA bear prints. And he waits for the diamond to correlate right after. And that happens at about here, which is about 562, 563. So 19,563, you take that trade because you have the support of Q Wave and Diamond Bear Alert. And we're going to go from 563 all the way down to 446. So that's about, uh, that's actually over 100 points that happened there, right? So um, it's definitely a great strategy if you want to use Q-Wave in conjunction with uh, Moneyball. And again, we want to have them in sync together. And we also want to make sure the diamond prints relatively quick after Q-Wave prints. So we would ignore this because there's no diamond support here, right? We ignore this one, but well, actually probably wouldn't ignore that one. We'll zoom in a bit. Uh, this prints and the diamond shows up after, but maybe that would just be probably no more than five points depending on your entry. Uh, but again, strategy is the, is, is the strategy. You want to ignore when the bull prints without the diamond and you want to take seriously when the uh, Q wave prints with the diamond. Here's another example here, guys. This is almost like I'm almost at the end of the page. So this is live market uh, literally occurring. So Q wave prints, diamond prints shortly after. So at about here, 454. And that rides all the way down to 417. And lastly, again, live market. So this is just showing what would have been a great trade uh, for the bulls. Uh, Q wave prints. And then diamond follows right after at about four three six, and then you can take that ride up to four six four, which is about a uh, third twenty to thirty point trade. Uh, so, guys, I hope this helps uh, having another strategy available uh, in your toolkit. We have several different strategies to consider uh, on QuantView's YouTube page, as well as if you're a uh, member in the Discord. Um, you can check out the several different channels that shows pro chart layouts, as well as different strategies to uh, consider and use. Um, it's all about how you want to uh, take advantage of the market so you can uh, do your best to have a green and profitable day and not a red day. Um, but I hope this helps. Again, this is from our one of our most engaged members, uh, J12TEE -E -E, or Jose. And um, my name is Michael Jones from the Quant View Discord. Hope this helps you guys. Um, look forward to making the next video for you uh, for more strategies or more tips on how to best optimize your trading for prop evaluation accounts, funded accounts, or your own personal live account. Thank you guys for listening. Take care. Talk to you on the next.